All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Last time, we got our hands dirty with some basic Linux commands, but today we're cranking things up a notch. We're diving headfirst into the world of network scanning with Nmap. We're talking about ethical hacking here, the kind of skills security professionals use every day to find and fix vulnerabilities. By the end of this video, you'll know how to find out what's running on a network, what ports are open, and even get a peek at the operating system. It's like having X-ray vision for your network, and trust me, it's way cooler than it sounds. So grab your favorite energy drink, buckle up, and let's get scanning. Okay, so you've mastered the basics of Linux. You're feeling like a digital superhero, ready to take on the world. Awesome. But before we unleash your inner hacker, let's talk about our weapon of choice, Nmap. Now, Nmap stands for Network Mapper, and it's basically the Swiss army knife of network scanning tools. This bad boy lets you discover hosts and services on a network, kind of like a digital detective dusting for fingerprints. Think of ports like doors into a computer, some are locked, some are open, and Nmap helps you figure out which ones you can walk right through. This information is pure gold for ethical hackers and penetration testers, the good guys who use these techniques to find and fix security holes before the bad guys exploit them. By the end of this video, you'll be using Nmap like a pro, scanning networks, uncovering hidden devices, and generally feeling like you've got superpowers. So, are you ready to unleash your inner network ninja? Let's do this. Alright, before we start scanning like crazy, we need a target. And no, I don't mean your little brother's laptop, though that might be tempting. We need an IP address, the unique identifier for every device on a network. Think of it like a phone number for your computer. Now, finding your own IP address is easier than you think. Just Google what's my IP and bam, there it is. Once you've got that magic number, things get really interesting. We can use Nmap to scan your entire subnet, which is basically a smaller network within your main network. To do this, we'll use a simple command. So, fire up your terminal, type in the command, and let's see what treasures we can unearth. All right, time to inject some excitement into this whole network scanning business. Nmap has this awesome little feature called Verbose Output, and it's exactly what it sounds like. To activate this magical mode, just add to your Nmap command. Now, instead of just spitting out a bunch of results at the end, Nmap will give you a real-time play-by-play of what it's doing. You'll see it pinging hosts, scanning ports, basically showing off its detective skills right before your eyes. Trust me, once you experience the thrill of a live Nmap scan, there's no going back. So, go ahead, add that to your next Nmap command and prepare to be amazed. Chapter 4. Metasploitable Your Nmap Playground Alright, enough with the baby steps. It's time to unleash the full power of Nmap on a real target. And by real target, I mean Metasploitable, the virtual machine designed to be hacked. It's like a digital punching bag for ethical hackers, and today, it's our guinea pig. First things first, make sure you've got Metasploitable up and running on your network. Once that's sorted, Grab its IP address. You know the drill. Now, for a basic scan, all you need is the command followed by the IP address of your Metasploitable machine. Hit enter and watch the magic happen. Nmap will spring into action, probing your target and revealing its secrets. So keep those fingers on the keyboard and that Metasploitable machine running because things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. Chapter 5. Laser Focus. Scanning specific ports with Nmap. All right, so we've scanned our Metasploitable machine and got a nice list of open ports. But what if we want to be more specific? What if we want to check if a particular service is running, like, say, an FTP server or a web server? Well, that's where targeted port scanning comes in. With Nmap, you can tell it to focus its attention on specific ports, ignoring the rest. To scan specific ports, just add the flag followed by the port numbers you're interested in. For example, we'll scan ports 21, FTP, 22, SSH, and 23, Telnet. It's like knocking on a door and hearing someone say, come in. Chapter 6. Port range scanning covering all the bases. So, scanning specific ports is cool and all, but what if you want to be thorough? Like, really thorough. What if you want to scan a whole bunch of ports at once just to make sure you don't miss anything? Well, my friend... That's where port range scanning comes in handy. With Nmap, you can scan entire ranges of ports with a single command. To scan a range of ports, simply use a hyphen between the starting and ending port numbers. 
For example, to scan ports 1 through 1000, you'd use the command. It's like ordering every item on a menu. You might discover some hidden gems, but be prepared to wait a while for your food. Chapter 7 Alright, so far we've been focusing on finding open ports, which is like finding open doors in a building. But once you're inside, wouldn't you want to know what's behind each door? Is it a broom closet, a treasure chest, or maybe a room full of puppies? Well, in the world of network scanning, knowing the version of a service running on a port is like peeking behind those doors. And guess what? Nmap can do that too. With its service version detection feature, Nmap can tell you exactly what's running on each open port. To activate this superpower, just add the flag to your Nmap command. This information is incredibly valuable because it can reveal potential vulnerabilities in the system. It's like knowing that a particular brand of lock is easy to pick. Suddenly that open door becomes a lot more interesting. Chapter 8. Alright, time to crank things up to 11. So far we've been taking a relatively gentle approach to scanning, but Nmap has a few tricks up its sleeve for when you really want to gather as much information as possible. I'm talking about aggressive scan mode. Now, as the name suggests, this mode is not for the faint of heart. It's like switching from a gentle tap on the shoulder to a full-on bear hug. Nmap will pull out all the stops, using more intrusive techniques to gather as much information as possible. To activate beast mode, just add the flag to your Nmap command. With this single flag, you're unleashing a torrent of scanning techniques, including OS detection, version detection, script scanning, and even trace route. Now, be warned, aggressive scans can be noisy and may trigger alarms on well-protected systems. But hey, sometimes you got to take risks to get the intel you need, right? Alright, sometimes you need to be a little sneakier with your scans. Maybe you're dealing with a security-conscious network, or maybe you just want to avoid setting off any alarms. Whatever the reason, Nmap has you covered with its stealthy SYN scan. Now, Traditional TCP scans are like knocking on a door and waiting for a response, but SYN scans are more like sending a secret message and seeing if anyone responds. To activate your inner ninja, just use the flag with your nmap command. This tells nmap to use SYN packets instead of full-blown TCP handshakes, which can make the scan much faster and less detectable. It's like slipping past a guard dog instead of trying to fight it head-on. Alright, so far we've been focusing on scanning a single target at a time. But what if you want to scan an entire network segment, or maybe even a list of IP addresses? Do you have to run Nmap separately for each one? Of course not. Nmap is all about efficiency, and it lets you scan multiple targets with a single command. To scan multiple targets, simply separate the IP addresses or host names with spaces. For example, you can even use CIDR notation to scan an entire network range. It's like casting a wide net and seeing what you can catch. You never know what you might find. All right, before we wrap things up, we need to have a little chat about responsibility. Because with great power comes great responsibility and all that jazz. Nmap is a powerful tool, and it's important to use it ethically and legally. Scanning systems without permission is a big no-no. Always get explicit permission before scanning any system that you don't own. And even then, be respectful and avoid causing any disruptions or damage. Remember, ethical hacking is about finding and fixing vulnerabilities, not exploiting them. So, go forth and scan responsibly, my friend. And there you have it. You've just taken your first steps into the world of ethical hacking with Nmap. We've covered a lot of ground today from basic scans to stealthy techniques, and hopefully you've picked up some valuable skills along the way. But this is just the beginning, my friend. Nmap is a deep rabbit hole of features and capabilities, and there's always more to learn. So don't be afraid to experiment, explore, and push the boundaries of what's possible. Until then, keep scanning, stay curious, and most importantly, have fun.